Now, the foodies out there are already looking forward to 2014, thinking about what are going to be the hot trends. You combine the hot trends with Chatelaine Magazine, and you get easy weekday meals that will stun your friends and your children. Please welcome Claire Tanzi from Chatelaine. Am I right or am I right? Yeah. I love that. I love that your children are going to be like this. Oh my gosh! Well, they kind of are going to be stunned. This this is going to take their typical chicken fingers and crank them into the next millennium. Absolutely, because yeah. these are quinoa chicken fingers. Quinoa and chia. Oh my gosh! Remember the That's chia? Super duper healthy. Yeah. So this is these are the chia seeds, right? This I have is, these exact ones. And at what home. do you do with them? Uh, nothing. Okay, good. So. <laughs> Don't know you can to sprinkle do. them into your yogurt, you can put them in your cereal, your oatmeal, and if you give them about 10 minutes, they'll just soften and kind of disappear. Right. Um, they are, oh, so high in everything. Uh, yeah. Omega, uh, fiber, blah, blah, blah. They mop the floors, do the taxes. Yeah, they, they do everything. They, do they everything. wash your dishes. I, oh, I know, they do. Yeah, they do. But they are, they are extremely high in fiber. Right. Don't eat too many of these without a big <laughs> glass of water. Just right. word to the wise. It'll all bungle up in your system. So we've got some chia seeds, and they are actually, you're going to find them in all kinds of healthy ingredients in 2014, in healthy recipes in 2014, because yeah. they're so good for you. So what we decided to do is take these quinoa puffs. Right, you, do you know quinoa puffs. puffs? Yes, I do. So you find them in the cereal aisle. They're like the rice puffs. Like you could yeah. put a bowl, pour a bowl of you know those for your breakfast as well. Well, a lot of people like to do is combine this with maybe a higher sugar cereal. Exactly. And then you're at least making it a little bit more healthy. Yeah, for right? sure. So what we're gonna do is combine, come ça, madame. So this is gonna be our chicken finger rub. Exactly. That's and then awesome. to make it stick, I'm gonna take these chicken tenders. I've got a mixture of Dijon honey and a little bit of water. Mm -hmm. And that they go in there, and then they go in there, and then they go in there, and this is yeah. what they look like. Okay? So, and that does not take very long at all. No, it takes you're talking about ten minutes total here. Yeah. And look at how yummy and crunchy. I it's going to be hard for me not to eat this. I'm just going to put it over here <laughs> right away, quickly. Take it out of your hand and immediately. And then another really beautiful trend ingredient this um, this year is going to be collard greens. Oh, well, that's good you because those are super good for you. send kale back to the last you. century. Yes, collard greens are super good for you. And mm -hmm. so many times I walk by them in the grocery store and I think, not really sure. I don't know what not to really do with sure you. Not really sure what to do. Okay, so my standard process for any green that I'm not familiar with. Yeah blanch it, yeah. so that means drop it into boiling water, mm -hmm. shred it up, and then add my uh, always secret ingredients, garlic and chili flakes. Yeah, that'll do it. We're go with the same pan because, you know, I don't like doing the dishes. Mm -hmm, me neither. And I find myself some kind of thing here. And then, with this, just goes right in. So okay. any green that you're ever, you want to try, but you're not really sure what to do with it, just yeah. try blanching it and then coating it with oil, garlic, and chili flakes. Honestly, you could put oil, garlic, and chili flakes on a hair elastic and it would probably be delicious. <laughs> You're probably right, but the thing about this is that a lot of people find these greens um, a little bitter. Exactly, and ch like too chewy, like it's almost hard to chewy. eat through. Yeah. So that is nice when you cut it up a little bit small and mix it with a bit of flavor. It exactly. always tastes better. You can do this to kale, you can do this to dandelions, yeah. you can do this to all kinds of different that's greens. That's right, spinach, whatever you want. Exactly, so that's going to be delicious and then you have this beautiful plate of chicken fingers and greens, yeah. which looks unlike any plate of chicken fingers and greens you've probably ever had. It looks amazing, but I like that you use the, the black um, chia. Yeah. So that is, that is, I think, what makes it a look a little bit more exotic. And it's super right? crunchy and really fun. It's good. So then we're going to move on to the next round. Yes, we have and another recipe. This is a Japanese-inspired recipe. This is Japanese, but do you remember when our friend Jamie Oliver, remember you came over and you cooked with Jamie in our yeah. little kitchen? And he made what seemed so crazy, he made a coleslaw omelet? Yeah, I thought it was great. Yeah, well this is essentially what the Japanese have been doing for centuries. Right. Coleslaw omelet. So okay. this is something called an okonomiyaki. All right. And this is how you're going to stun your children. Okonomiyaki. It, it, there you go. I wanted to say it. That's what you did. And you say, it's fun to kids, say. tonight we're having okonomiyaki. So it's essentially <laughs> a giant frittata yeah. with tofu and coleslaw in it. Look at that. And you're thinking, okay, that sounds really bad. No, it does. I mean, it looks good to me. I will take a frittata in any shape yes. or form. I think that they're a great weeknight dinner. I think that they're easy and I think you can yes. throw anything in there. And so and often, everything. And this is the kind of thing that you could buy these ingredients on your Saturday shop and if you haven't thought about it until Friday, yeah. you know, like eight, six days, five days later, 
these ingredients are all still going to be good in your fridge, so you're, sure. you're good to go. So this is eggs, this is um, a mixture of flour, salt, a bit of sugar, and baking powder. Don't forget to read those ingredients, uh, okay. read those recipes. Yes, and they're all on our website, by the way, cityline.ca. We Indeed. put all the information in there. Then you take yourself one pack of ready-made coleslaw mix. Right, oh, easy. Because who wants to shred a head of cabbage on a Tuesday night? Not me. Get, uh, get that nicely mixed. Get it going, go, get, go, it going go, get it going, go, get it going, get it going. Very good. And we're going to put the coleslaw mix in go there. Go for it. I know, great, right? I you, need a spoon. Uh, I think you do. Here we go. Treja. Treja and some green onions just because they're full of flavor. Okay. Oh, oh my. I hate whisks sometimes. They don't want to give up their goodness. They're only good if you're whisking something that's sweet and then you can eat it. <laughs> I love that. From the whisk. Oh, I love then that. Then they're lots of fun. Now we're going to add the tofu part. Okay. Now. Don't get scared. Don't get scared. Um, uh, you know what? We were just saying how much we love to eat tofu just on its own. I would just eat this Do you on its really? Own. I love you don't, it. You don't even need to dip it in something? Give it some flavor? Well, here's what you do you take your tofu. Uh huh. And this is a mixture of miso. Yeah. You know, this is one of my favorite ingredients. Again, buy a tub of it, leave it in the fridge. It's good for pretty much forever. Oh, that's good. It's like processed cheese. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but not at all like processed <laughs> but, cheese, but actually. Quite different. <laughs> um, but just as delicious, if not more so. Mix it up with a little bit of sesame oil. All right. Uh, and then I'm going to spread this all over this tofu. Now that's Flavor Town right this there. Is, you, this is truly the lip of the volcano in Flavor Town. <laughs> uh, did you know there was a volcano in Flavor Town? No, I didn't. Mm, yeah, and so it erupts Very every now and then. Very interesting to know that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So then I'm going to do this better when I'm actually not on TV and you know, that <laughs> kind of thing. So then I'm going to slice this into pieces. And oh, then, so that's what all of these exactly, are? Exactly, and then throw it down in this pan. Oh, I, didn't even, I did not even know that. And once it's kind of, you know, done on both sides, yeah. then you put the coleslaw mixture on top and you bake it. And you flip it out. And I'm just going to cut into this to and show you, you how that. gorgeous it is. And you can cut it into nice little pie sized exactly. pieces. Exactly. And then you make, um, stir some mayonnaise with uh, sushi ginger and sushi ginger juice. And that's your condiment to go with it. Very or cool, Claire. Also good with ketchup. Very nice. Uh, really, I like how you brought it down there to our size, to my daughter's size we, at three, we three years old. On everything. Yeah. Uh,